ขอเสียงต้อนรับนักสู้จากไตฮารานมาตินกามสเรทำเชือกชั้นสี่มาเลยนะฮะสวัสดีครับโอ้โหดูคึกคืนนะครับมีสายตามีความมั่นใจนะฮะนี่มองเรามีรอยยิ้มอคิดๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆ
Gal Samui. I'm Adam Martin, and joining me as always, Aaron Siri Sampan. Whether you're watching on TV on Channel 3 and 33 or you've taken your place by the lake, great fights await. Nine, to be exact. Six car check, three gloved, all sanctioned by the Thai Fight International Boxing Association. We're here in gorgeous Gao Samui for the fifth consecutive year. The Fast and Furious franchise of Thai Fight featuring the ever incendiary Azuzu Cup Super Fight, the peerless Sage Sanchai, and a luminosity test for a soap star. This is Thai Fight. Gao Samui. I'm pumped up, Aaron. That was perfect. Tyler. Thanks. Well done. I can't believe I actually got through all of it before they started fighting. I'm impressed as well. It takes practice. Okay, final blessings there from the corners. Here you can see the beautiful sunset in the background there. It really is stunning. It's always gorgeous, the sun setting here on Samui. Just makes a magical atmosphere for what's always a great night of fights. Oh, running in there from Sammy Dej and he gets clipped. A little bit careless there from the Thai fighter. Like Adam said, six card check fights this evening. This is one of them. Yeah, good elbow there from Sammy Dej pushing back. Martin. I'm sorry. Yeah, takes a hold. Looking just to slow down the Thai counterpart. Nice solid right kick to the body there. And a left kick. I'm sorry. Rushing in, looking for a right hand, but not finding anything. A bit hectic in the early moments of this fight. Inside kick. Something there, looking for that right, but blocked. Good right elbow, though. Again, Gamsari moves in. Inside kick from the Iranian. Nice body kick, blocked, and then again. Sammy Dej looking for that right elbow out of. Landed a nice knee on the break there as well. Oh, good solid kick to the body there from Sammy Dej. And a right hand! Oh, stunned him. Eyes momentarily glazed over there. Yeah, he's still wobbly on his feet, Aaron. You can see it. Hasn't quite regained his equilibrium. Smart move for him to get inside there and clinch up. He's got to recover. Oh, right elbow once again from Samming Dej. Body kick, block, sorry, leg kick, outside fire attack Samming from Gamzari. Samming Dej just looks like a panther on the prowl right now. He's just hunting his prey. Again, Gamzari trying to hold on. Probably still, still feeling the effects of that right hand. Again, and another right hand. Oh, oh, right elbow! I think we've already seen about six or seven elbows. And there's a right hand to the temple! Yeah, it seems like every time they get close to each other and mix with an exchange, it ends with Gamsari stunned and sort of rolling backwards like that. Oh, looking for a spinning back elbow! Jumping right knee to the body. Gamsari again holding on. Yeah, he's not all there, is he, Hadou? No, he's not. I mean, we're watching this fight in what feels like 4K. I think he's got 16-bit vision right now. Nice. Again, holding on. There we can see the handiwork of Samming Dej. Dej by far. The opening round here of the very first bout. Tie fight, Gossamui underway. Sammy Dej doing a destructive job on Gamzari. It was uh, a little wobbly, let's say, in that opening round. Been getting uh, instructions in the corner of that second. Uh, Got to try and keep away from that right elbow. I mean, he kind of needs to keep away from everything. A lot of punches and elbows to the face coming in from Sammy Dej in that first round. Spray going everywhere right now as another right hand to the head clips from Samming Dej. Yeah, I just got my third shower of the day and wasn't really the one I was looking for. Oh, good right elbow! And, and again, Gamseri's in trouble. We're gonna have to nickname him Bambi Legs at the moment. Oh, solid left kick to the body from Samming Dej. 
Yeah, everything is working right now for the Thai fighter. For the Iranian fighter, he's just really struggling to find an opening. There's that right kick to the body. Oh! Oh, goodness. I'm not sure if that left knee landed or not. The left kick that followed it certainly did. Another and right again, hand. It's just like every exchange, there's a trade. And I'm sorry he's losing them all. You know, he might land a, a low kick or an inside kick, but he's taking a straight right or a straight left to the face. And then he walks into another elbow. He's looking for that left hand. Beautiful knee there from Sami Dej on the left. He's spending a lot of time closing that distance, looking for the clinch, but he's not really striking once he's in that clinch. And, and while he's closing that distance, he's getting elbowed to ribbons. And look at that sunset, Aaron. My goodness. It looks like it's a green screen. It does. Inside kick from Sami Dej. Gorgeous oh. backdrops. Rarely see that from behind, looking for that knee strike. Well, you've got to give props to Gamsuri, at least for his toughness. He's taken an incredible amount of punishment in this fight. Another right elbow from Samingdej. And you almost get that feeling that Samingdej is like, what do I got to do to get this guy out of here? Confidence is so high, he's doing the Sanchai shuffle. Yeah, he's durable. I'll give him that. Again, holding on, trying to frustrate Samming Dej. Well, I imagine he's probably frustrating his coaches as well because he keeps clinching up, but he's not throwing any beautiful, strikes from there. Sorry, beautiful left knee from Samming Dej. If that's your strategy to, to clinch up, you've got to throw some sort of offensive technique from there. I think it's just survival mode. Yeah, it's full survival. Left cross there from Sami Dej, and an oh. elbow! It's behind the ear, and again, how does he not go down from that? The equilibrium buster. End of round two, here at Thai Fight Samui. More of the same in that second round. Just a case of Gamzari surviving the onslaught. That was being put on by Samming Dej, Dej by far. Straight right hand again. He's been able to stay on his feet and props to him for that. Solid left hand there again from the TIE fighter that moves in with that right elbow. Unable to find the spot that time. We're moving into the third and final round. Yeah, as you said, Aaron, just an excellent job from Gamsari just to be able to survive those first two rounds. Unfortunately for him, it just doesn't seem like he's got the arsenal to be able to compete or even to put the fear into Samming Dej. Oh, he's forgot the gum shield. Well, you can forgive him that, can't you? Like a baby in a crib, he's been rocked throughout this fight. Two solid left kicks there from Samming Dej. And a fourth shower for us. We should have brought an umbrella, Aaron. Or a towel. <laughs> <laughs> Samming Dej again, stalking, gets clipped with the right hand. Covering up. It's gotta be frustrating for Gamsari. Oh, left knee, but again he moves in. He gets up straight away. It's just like no matter which way he moves, he's, he's just bumping right into a fist or an elbow or a knee. Sorry again, holding on. You know, later tonight we'll see Sanchai the wizard, and he's so good at evading strikes and moving out of the way of every single strike. I'm sorry, seems to be the exact opposite. Every move he makes seems to lead him into a strike. Left it to the body. And oh, a knee. Again. Bit of a naughty back elbow there. Very signs of frustration from Samming Dej. And again. I'm sorry, running away. Dej with the takedown. Cheek a little trip there from the tight fighter. Yeah, I mean, it's clear that Samming Dej wants to find that knockout. 
I'm not sure if it's going to happen for him, but he shouldn't be that frustrated. It's been a brilliant performance from him, really from the opening bell up until now, midway through the third round. To the right elbow, on again. He's just been peppering Gamsari with jabs and crosses and elbows and knees to the body and beautiful kick to the body there as well. Final moments now, the third and final round. It's Gamsari gonna hold on. Looking for a right hand. But two more elbows come in. Yeah, normally we'd be freaking out with we see those elbows, but we've just gotten used to it. Just another two elbows from Sammy oh, Dej. Another solid right knee there from Sammy Dej to the body. Just incredibly impressed with the Iranian's toughness. Spinning back elbow from Sammy Dej, but again. What else can he defend? Tremendous durability in the head, tremendous durability in the body. Well, there you go, he survived. We'll go to the judges' scorecard, Adam. What do you think? <laughs> I think this is going to be one of the easiest jobs the judges have ever had. Yeah, but don't props. take anything away from the toughness. I was just about to say. Because he really did kind of showcase that on a really elite level, the amount of knees that he took to the body, the amount of elbows that he took, not only to the face, but as you mentioned, Aaron, to the back of the head, to the to the temple, these are spots that usually knock fighters out or at least knock them down. Yeah, also he took a lot of sh shots to the body, some uh, left body kicks and knees. Naughty elbows there coming in from Sammy Dej. We'll take it over to our MCs. So there you have it, your winner, Simon Dej, Dej Fifa. So that's another win for him in his tie fight early career. He's looked. ครับเป็นแชมป์มวยรอบนะครับอีซูสุครับนะฮะครั้งที่ 29 นี่คือคนล่าสุดนะฮะลุยมาหลากหลายคนแล้วผ่านมาถึงจุดนี้ในรอบ
สามยกแบบโอ้โหกระพริบตาไม่ได้อะนอกหรือเปล่าเดี๋ยวมาดูกันด้วยนะครับตรงเสียงเชียร์ดังๆเลยนะครับนี่คือยอดบวยจากอุบลราชธานีอดีตแชมป์เวทีราชดำเนินขอเสียงต้อนรับมหาการแดนใต้เพชรสมุยลูกเจ้าพ่อร้องเติมเดี๋ยวนี้เป็นการแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดของประเทศไทยและเราได้เห็นเขาเล่นในเวทีนี้ในเวทีนี้เขาเล่นในเวทีนี้ในเวทีนี้ในเ
All the rest of the fights will be roped hands, card check style. Well, this should be a great fight, Aaron. Let's see what happens. Round one. Whoa, off the bat. Straight away from uh, Pet Mahachon, setting the tone here. Really nice three strike combination from Pet Mahachon. One of the things I was going to talk about was, of course, the adaptation that you have to make as a, a Thai fight fighter moving for, out of the stadiums into the Thai fight arena, of course. And one of the things that you do in the stadiums, of course, is take it easy in round one, take it easy in round two, in fact, and round five. But here, it's a blitz, it's an onslaught, it's a sprint. And I was thinking to myself, well, we know that Pet Samui can fight like that. Can Met Pet Mahachon, and clearly he's adapting well right now. He's throwing beautiful combinations. He's clearly got his eye on the prize. Nice. Good knees there from Pet Mahachon. I like really like those three four strike combinations he's throwing to end with a chopping low kick, almost like Dutch style. Nice. Kick there. See the corner of Jit Mong Yong. Screaming at their fighter. Good right hand there from Mahachon. Blocked from Pet Samui. Outside kick, left body kick attempt, right hand over the top that connects. Petsamui looking very composed, usually in the tie fight we see him just he's going straight after his opponent, biting down on that gun shield and going after it, but yeah. he's been a bit more composed in this fight so far. Petsamui is like the king of two-way traffic. Knows how to get hit, knows how to hit. That's why he's so often involved in fight of the night performances. Yeah, we've seen him in possibly the greatest fight that we've ever caught when he took on Matthias Johnson a few months back, of course. Absolutely incredible performance from both fighters. But yeah, he does look calm and composed here early in the first round. Right nice knee there. Knee to the body. Right hand. Petsamui throws but right elbow back. Again, looking for that left kick to the body. Left hook to the body from Matt Mahachon. Another right kick to the body, followed by a right hand there from Pet Mahachon. Bit more urgency now from Petsamui as he lands that left elbow and then moves in with those knees. Another left elbow. He's cut. Just on the bridge of the nose. How will that affect him? Who knows? Another good elbow there moving in. Oh, and oh. a beautiful sweep from Petsamui. Really nice technique. And the calmness of Petch Samui really paying dividends for him here in round one. Just kick to the body. Right knee to the body from Pet Mahachon. Now you can see him pawing at his nose. He can feel it. Yeah, well, feel Pet the damage that was done. Pet Mahachon started on fire in the early stages of this round, but I think in the closing stages, Pet Samui is one up. I'm going to yeah, call it. Yeah, it was a very competitive round, but I mean. some of that competitive action in round one. Back and forth. Really strong start, as you mentioned earlier, Aaron, from Pet Mahashan. Just throwing beautiful three, four strike combinations. But towards the end of that round, Pet Samui really started to take control, picking apart Pet Mahashan and dumping him on the ground and Cutting him with an elbow, and that probably stole the round for him. Yeah, we're sat right in the uh, corner of Pet Mahachon. He was screaming instructions after him, at him and telling him to go after him with the elbow. Dumped right on his head to start round two. Sometimes it's difficult to gauge how good these Thai fighters are, because you talked about it, Adam, sometimes the opponents they face aren't always as experienced. But we can see here right now, Pet Samui, a very, very talented fighter. We know that he's a former Rajdan Nerd Stadium champion, but does that competitive edge leave when you're fighting fighters who don't have that experience? But we can see him fighting an Omni Stadium champion now, someone who's very experienced, like Pat Mahachon. He's a very, very talented fighter. And Azuzu fighter. Cup champion. I mean, for those of you that aren't in the know, the Azuzu Cup is like one of the most prestigious tournaments that you can win in Thailand. It's a who's who that's won that tournament. So the fact that Pet Mahashan has won that tournament means he is a legitimate fighter. I don't know why I just said that like I was, I was French or something. Left knee to the body there. And a right from Pet Mahashan. Left elbow coming in from Pet Samui, pushing him back into that corner. But yeah, as you mentioned, Aaron, so many times fighters, I mean, this happens in other sports as well. You fight up to your competition or you fight down to your competition. 
You know, we've seen Petch Samui get tagged by some fighters that aren't necessarily on his competitive level, but we're seeing him right now fight against a very talented fighter and really putting on a very controlling, awesome performance. Right, uh, right knee there from Petch Samui. Driving back, Pet Mahachon. He looks just really strong in this fight. Strong and confident. And again, just those crafty techniques. Two or three times he's dumped Pet Mahachon on the ground. Oh, right elbow attempt there from Pat Mahachon, but Pet Samui just uh, moves him out of the way, controls him, then throws the right hand that lands. Yeah, right before they clenched up, nice right hand from Pet Samui. Kick to the body from Pet Samui. Pet Mahachon covered in blood now. More right knees ready, kid. Jumping the attempt, but blocked. Yeah, Pet Samui just doesn't look particularly bothered. Both fighters throwing left knees. Good right kick to the body from Pet Samui with a right hand. What a sequence that was. Not just the striking from Pet Samui, but there was a kick in there from Pet Mahachon that Pet Samui just blocked effortlessly. Yeah, and another swift left kick to the body from Pet Samui, and then follows up with a we haven't right elbow and a right hand to that cut. We haven't always talked about Pet Samui being a good defensive fighter, but he's really fighting smart defensively tonight. Yeah, we haven't seen him fight like this before. No, never, he's really. He's usually a rampaging bull that just goes yeah. in and throws usually roped hands. Like I said, two-way traffic, yeah. He's usually getting hit and hitting. But right now, takedown. right now, it's like he's picking apart his opponent. He's not getting hit in the process. Really impressive. See an elbow from Petch Samui. Whole fight is connecting that time. Pet Mahashan tries to return the favor, but he's covered in blood. And I really think that that bloody face is an accurate depiction of how this fight has gone. Besides the really strong and impressive start from Pet Mahashan, since that moment. Well, she's shocked and impressed at the same time. I'm also shocked and impressed. Seriously though, we like we said, sorry Aaron, but as we said uh, at the end of the last round, we haven't really ever seen Petch Samui fight in this in this way. Not just the offensive firepower, but just so subtle and crafty and, and technically sound with his defense. Ah, that's the first time we've seen him go down. So well done for Pet Mahashan to start the third round with a sweep of his own. Oh, there you right go. back at you. That's when you thought he might be getting on top. Good right hand from Pet Mahachon. Right shot to the body, followed by a left hook. Pet Samui looking for that left kick, and again, but block from Pet Mahachon, who needs to knock out. Pet Samui is going to win this fight. Outside kick, looking for that left high kick. Still going back and forth, these two fighters. Right knee there from Pet Samui. Corner of uh, Ma Pet Mahachon urging him forward. Another right hand there from Pet Mahachon, but Pet Samui just takes it. He's enjoying himself in there. And why not? Oh, solid right hand from Pet Mahachon. Yeah, it's one of the better strikes he's landed in the last few rounds, but we've but seen Pet Samui take how many strikes like that? Yeah, he's March so right true. Oh, bullfighters going at it here at Tie Fight Samui with those elbows. Pet Matachon seems to be getting the worst of the blows. Covered in blood. Little left kick there. Well, you can see every time they separate, Pet Samui's got his hands down by his knees. Swinging right hand there from Pat Matachon, and then it's spinning back fist attempt. Chin forward, hands down. It just shows the sort of the lack of respect that he has for Pet Mahachon's offense at the moment. And that's just been the kind of night it's been for Pet Samui. Comfortable cruise here at the Isuzu Cup Super Fight. Yeah, another left hook attempt there from Pat Matachon. See the corner of Petsumu, we are just telling him to use those kicks to keep him away. I mean, yeah, he's got the fight won at this point. No need to take an unnecessary risk, but. Oh, good elbow! Both these elbow walls. 
Pet Mahachan not giving up. Not sure what that was. Desperation was move, maybe. Something. Nice knee to the body there from Pet Mahachan. Good kick to the body, but again. Beautiful jumping knee. Pet Mahachan moving forward. Looks like he might have run out of ideas. End of the third and final round. It looks like Petsamu will take it, but let's get confirmation from the judges at ringside. มันได้ยุติลงนะฮะดูว่าใครจะเป็นสุดยอดนะครับแล้วคู่นี้เนี่ยนะฮะผู้ชนะอย่าลืมนะครับเป็นตัวแทนเข้าชิงเพื่อพ
ยังไม่พอไม่พอนี่คือหนึ่งในสี่อวตารด้วยนะครับเอาละครับดังนั้นเงินรางวัลนะครับเรามีค่าหัวหนึ่งแสนบาทเลยดังนั้นดุเดือดแน่นอนในครั้งนี้ปรบมือดังๆต้อนรับด้วยครับเขาคือโอ้โหหนึ่งในสี่อวตารต้องยิ่งใหญ่หน่อยดิสุดลงหายใจก่อนไปเป็นกำลังใจต้อนรับเขาดังๆนักรบจากเมืองช้างชนะจนพีเกแสชัยบุยไทยเยี่ยมไปไปไปไปสนว่าหน้าไหนไม่สนว่าชาติใดสีอวตารไทยไฟดีกันชีเดอะโรบแทนส์อันเดอร์คาร์ดเช็คไฟท์แพทริกบอร์อสกีเบสเตอร์เดอะไวท์อีเกิลเซอร์ทันลี่ลุคส์ไลค์ฮ
a lot of different factors in the mix here in this fight. Yeah, but so Borowski best is uh, fighting out of Sitsom Pinong in Phuket. Very well renowned gym. Started training when he was 16 years old, 10 years in the game. And he's, he was telling me earlier that his favorite part of Muay Thai is the clinch game, which is very unusual for foreigners. Very, very unusual for Thai fight as they don't really allow clinching. Right low kick there from Jana John. Yeah, as you mentioned, the four avatars, Aaron Kitty is the new avatar because Sensatarn, who was an avatar previously, right. got knocked out by Sasha Moisa at the last event. Sasha Moisa somewhere swimming in money like Scrooge <laughs> McDuck. Sasha moving oh, in, throws down. Throw from Chana John. Patrick gets up, doesn't seem phased by it. Both fighters looking to utilize the left jab. Good hands there from Patrick. John John moving in with an elbow. Stiff left hand, stiff left hand of his own from Patrick. Oh, and a good right elbow from the pole. John John seems to be struggling with the distance right now, Adam. 181 centimeters tall is Patrick borowski Besta. And not just tall, but you can see long limbed as well. And I think that's what it is, it's the long arms of Patrick. But you know, Chanajan reminds me of like the Adesanya oh. of Thai fight. He, he's so good at sort of figuring oh. out what his opponent is doing and then reading and reacting and adapting to it. Yeah, and he seems like he's got a real puzzle right now in uh, Patrick borowski Beska. The outside kick there from the Thai fighter, buckling Patrick. Lead left hook misses the mark. Chanajan looking for that up elbow. It's been a really good start to this fight for Patrick. Yeah, he's done tremendously well. Overhand right there. Sure, just looking at the forehead of Chanajan. Looks like he might be cut, you know. Difficult to tell from here. Another crafty takedown from Chanajan. Maybe he's just got a vicious sunburn like me. <laughs> Possibly. No, no cut. What was that? That gum shield coming out? Yeah, just clean just that off. Sprinkle some water on it. Chuck it back in there. Good enough. The, real, the only really significant strike I've seen from Janadron so far is with that low leg kick, and I haven't seen him see, throw well, it again. He has had a couple of nice throws. I'd like to see him utilize that leg kick again, because I really think it was causing Patrick problems. End of round one. Very interesting that was first close. round. That Very was close. close. Here at Thai Fight Samui. Very competitive opening round there from uh, Chana John and Patrick Borowski Beska. Not an easy one to call. If I was going to put my neck on the line, I, you know, I think Patrick may have just nicked it. What do you think, Adam? Honestly, I'd agree with you. I mean, Patrick was pushing the action for most of that first round. He was moving forward a lot of the round. Chana John spent with his back on the ropes. He did have a couple of nice throws, but that forward pressure and striking from Patrick, I think, might have stolen him that round. So very interesting start. But as I mentioned, Chana John's so good at changing his strategy as he goes along. Oh! Kicks in the face there. So we'll you, see Adam, what happens. It's all about the length of the limbs that are causing problems to Chana John. The aggressiveness as well. I think Chana John has got to be what you just said. He's got to be more aggressive. He's got to go first. I don't want to sound like Dominic Cruz over here, but he's got to be first. Chana John's right eye looks like he might be closing, you know. Oh, there's that leg kick again. Yeah, he's definitely got some swelling underneath that right eye. Oh, and a left elbow from Patrick to that eye. This is a great job. A tremendous job from Patrick, in fact. Yeah, I'm not sure if we've seen Chana John in a fight this competitive since he fought Sayo. Very true, Adam, very true. Again, Patrick moving forward, good left kick to the body. Chana John, again, not throwing that leg kick that I think will help. I think it would set up a lot more. Overhand right from Chanachon. 
looking for that that right high kick that knocked out Sayok. He might have to call this Polish fighter Patrick the Puzzle. Indeed. Because he really is posing problems for Chana John. Oh, he walks into that right hand, but he manages to stay on his feet. Yeah, you can see a big smile on the face. That usually means it hurt. Again, all work being done from Patrick. Chana John having to work off the back foot. Left jab, Chana John. Again, not looking for that low kick, which just surprised me. Chana John looking for a step in knee, but again, the length, the range of There's Patrick is technique. causing problems. That's the technique you wanted Chana John to throw. Patrick just threw it outside leg kick. Right hand to the body. That took from Patrick. I mean, again, look where Chana John is back in the corner. From the forward pressure of Patrick. And it's not the kind of forward pressure you see in a desperate bid to come back at the end of a fight. It's just constant pressure from Patrick. A lot of blood. Yeah, it's coming from the nose of Patrick. It might be broken out of from that shot that we saw earlier. There's that low kick. That might make things interesting here. Trying to jump oh, something sweeping, like that. Oh, unbelievable. Flash knockout. I'm not sure if China John's going to be able to come back from that. He's trying to reel his senses back in. But he's in all kinds oh, of trouble and he's saved by the bell. Unbelievable drama here. Yeah. Story of the fight so far. Patrick Borowski Beska is stealing one over a Thai fight champion in Chanachon. I want to see that knockdown again, Adam. I thought at the moment there, I thought Chanachon was out for sure. There it is, that left hook that floors Chanachon as he goes down. He was absolutely out. He literally landed face Boom. first on the canvas. He was out and he got back up, but he really wasn't with it. And then the bell came. Unbelievable, when we went off air, Aaron, you said to me, the curse of the Avatar, is it real? Is this a real thing? It's like being on the cover of Madden. This is unbelievable. It, and it's different as well, because when we saw Sensitarn got knocked out by Sasha Moisa, I mean, it was right in like the middle of the first round. It was, I don't want to call it a lucky punch, because it wasn't, because Sasha Moisa is an awesome fighter. But it was like a one strike kind of thing, you know? This is like, Patrick's been winning this fight since the opening bell. He's yeah, won Chana two rounds. Chanajon needs a knockout. Chanajon needs a knockout to win this fight. And I'm not even sure he's recovered from the end of the second round. Patrick looks invigorated, looks ready to do the unthinkable. Take that 100,000 baht home with him. He is the most confident man in the world right now. He's got Donald Trump level confidence. <laughs> Chanajon looking to knee to the body. He knows he's gonna have to knock him out. Yeah, he has, he has to. to be super aggressive, which isn't necessarily his style. Not to say oh, he can't beautiful be left elbow! And another! Patrick on Wobbly Fee! All kinds of trouble! John for John Patrick. in for the kill! Another right hand! Left elbow! Good defense there from Patrick! Patrick fighting on the deck of a ship in the middle of a storm. He's trying to keep his balance. Good left knees there from Janet John. Trying to work that elbows in those clinch. Are we watching the WWE? Is this scripted? This drama is too much, Aaron. My head's gonna explode. It's incredible action. Patrick looking for that jab. Trying to get those legs going. Chana John trying to regain some momentum, trying to get some energy back up so we can probably move in. Left kick to the body. This is as good as Chana John's looked in this entire fight. He's finally looking confident, moving forward, being aggressive. A bleak kick there from Chana John. He's looking for that left high kick. But it's not going to be enough if he wins this round. If he wins, I mean, oh. I don't know that for sure, Adam, but. No, Adam, you're right. It's not enough in my opinion. You knock down your opponent. You have to get back up. You have to knock him out. Good defensive work there from Patrick. Patrick is looking battered, but Chanajan needs to finish oh, it. Another right hand. hand. Chasing Patrick down. Right knee to the body. Another right hand there from Chanajan. Exciting stuff here at Thai Fight. Unbelievable drama. Patrick's face is honey. Chanajan's the bear. He's mauling him. He's 
Gotta go after him with that elbow, surely, Adam. Patrick does look tired now, look at him. But he's not running away, he's ready to die on the shield, like a warrior. Both of them, right hand there from Janet Joe once again. And again with that right kick to the body. It's a race against time at this point. Well put, another right hand. And again, Patrick ties him up, good work there from the pole. Looks like he's already fighting the night. Oh, beautiful outside thigh kick from Janet John. That's that kick you were calling for him to throw earlier in the fight. It's too late now. We're just moments away from this fight ending, I think Janet John's gonna lose, even though he's battered Patrick in this round. And, and that's it. Of the third and final round. What are the judges gonna do? I think that Patrick won that fight, Aaron. I, I think you have to give it to him. But I'm not a judge, so I don't know. But honestly, based on the knockdown, you'd have to give it to Patrick. However, how do you judge that first round? If they give, yeah, I mean, if they give China John the first round, and they give him the third round, and then they give Patrick a 10 8, what is that, a draw? That's a draw. That would be a draw, but yeah, it looks like it's all about that opening round. Which I think Patrick won. Both. I do as well. But we've been wrong before. And this is a pride rules as well. It's not like the last round is way more. So based on that rules, I'm giving it to Patrick. No matter who wins and loses in this fight, the crowd has won, the audience has won, the viewers at home have won. And the art of Muay Thai has won. It's beautiful. Thank you. Well, here we go. ผมนะผมแบบนะอืมอ่ะตั้งใจฟังกันดีๆครับผมจะประกาศผลแล้วนะครับเดอะวินเนอร์เอสผู้ชนะได้แก่ใครฮะเขาหรือดำเขาหร
คุณจะเก๊กทำไมเขาเดี๋ยวผมเนี่ยครับเดี๋ยวหลอกสู้เขาไม่ได้ฝีไม้และมือคนนี้ก็ไม่ธรรมดาผมต้องขอประกาศเขาด้วยท่านี้เลยนะคนคนนี้นี่นะครับทุกท่านผมจะขอบอกว่าเขาเป็นคู่มีความฝันอยากเป็นนักมวยไทยโดยเฉพาะบนเวทีไทยไฟแห่งนี้กําลังใจเป็นสิ่งสําคัญครับทุกท่านปรบมือดังๆต้อนรับเทพบุตรนักสู้ปีเตอร์เดนแมนวันนี้ไม่มีไฟไฟอยู่ที่นี่ทุกอย่างที่ร้องเพลงนี่คือพวกเด็กๆกำลังร้องเพลงให้พี่เดนมันทุกคนโอเคเราสบายไม่ส่งไฟรถไฟนี่คุณสามารถเห็นเขาเดนนิลดอร์ที่ชื่อของเขาคือนักเก็ตหนึ่งและผมต้องบอกให้ดีๆว่าคุณต้องระวังการพูดนี้นะแอรอนฉันไม่รู้ว่าเดนนิลดอร์คือแต่ผมต้องบอกให้ดีๆว่าคุณต้องระวังการพูดนี้นะแอรอนฉันไม่รู้ว่าเดนนิลดอร์คือแต่ผมต้องบอกให้ดีๆว่าคุณต้องระวังการพูดนี้นะแอรอนฉันไม่รู้ He's undefeated, one fight on his professional record, but he has fought around before. Well, let me introduce Peter Denman anyway. 23 years old, a Thai soap star, superstar here in Thailand. Fighting, he's from Chomburi, 189 centimeters tall, very tall for a Thai, 82 kilograms. One fight, one victory in Phuket. Looking to make it two out of two here against uh, Daniel. He's also known as the peaceful warrior. Well, we did hear a kid out in the crowd yelling, "Teacher Daniel! Teacher Daniel!" So obviously he's a, you know, a teacher and a fighter, which would make him a peaceful warrior. There you go. Started uh, martial arts at seven years old. Fights out of Super Pro. Shout out to Robbie Timmers here. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Dasumui. A fan of Sanchai. Well, who isn't? Loves spinning kicks. Fought, has fought in MMA and K1, and like I said, we'll be making his uh, second Muay Thai fight appearance right now here in Thai Fight Samui. He does seem to be a much more experienced fighter than the first opponent Peter Denman had, so we'll see what happens. I mean, this kind of reminds me of when I was a kid and my mom just pushed me in the pool <laughs> to see if I could swim. I feel like that's kind of what Thai Fight is doing with Peter Denman here this evening. Oh, you, and you, you survived, right? I did. I'm actually a great swimmer now. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Maybe that's what Thai Fight is hoping here, that, that Peter Denman will actually be able to beat a fighter that's got a little bit more experience and that that will... Uh, well, at least you did something right. Yeah, I mean, the girls are going <laughs> to scream regardless, but I think the more hardcore Muay Thai fans kind of are curious about what this Peter Denman experiment is really all about. Well, we'll see. 
Round one, nice outside kick from Peter. And then a left jab, looking for a right hook. Look like at George Foreman jab. Yeah, he's dancing. Look at him, Muhammad Ali style. Look, looking for that left hand. Daniel looking to Daniel looks like he just wants to down. get close and maul him. Look at the hands coming in there. Oh, he's having fun, he's smiling. Telling him to bring it on. Outside kick. We haven't really seen Peter get hit yet, so I I, I don't want to say that I'd like to see him get hit, but I but I kind of do. I want to see how he, how he takes it. Interesting to find out, right? Looking for that low calf kick. Daniel trying to push him back. Him just sticking the tongue out. Teacher Daniel trying to teach him a lesson. Good left hooks in the body there from Denman. Uppercut followed by a left hook there. And interesting to see if he can sustain this front movement all the way throughout this fight. Using a lot of energy right now. Oh, oh. left hand. It's a nice strike from Daniel. Testing the chin of Peter Denman. All oh, left jabs. Here's Daniel moving in. You know, looking at their two uh, skin tones, it kind of looks like me before and after my sunburn <laughs> today. <laughs> Tempted left kick to the body there from Daniel. Outside kick there from Denman. Again, utilizing that left jab. Daniel moves in with a left hook. Yeah, he's doing a good job, Denman, is of striking while moving backwards, which isn't always easy to do. With a left hand there from Denman. Good check there. And he's moving to the wrong corner, Daniel. <laughs> Just listening to the corner there of, uh, of Daniel Dora. They were telling him to cut the ring down instead of chasing Peter. Go to where Peter's going. Yeah, instead of chasing him front to back, move side to side. Because there was a lot of that in the first round. Really unsure what's going on right now. I'm super confused. Oh, solid right kick to the body, then a right hook. The case of the disappearing highlights, straight into round two. Maybe some technical problems. Perhaps. Possibly. Looks to show that tongue. Denman star. Oh, left hook there. Denman star shining so brightly it burned out the cameras. The right hook there from Daniel. Swinging. High left kick misses the mark. That left hook doesn't know. Left jab from Denman. And then a body shot. Trying to sneak in a, uh, a right knee. The Denman kick. <laughs> <laughs> Can't quite call it a cartwheel kick. A little bit more of a, of a flopping, chopping. That was a tempted axe kick. There's the Denman kick again. Let's call it the Denman <laughs> kick. That's a good name. That's as good a name for it as any, Aaron. At least he's trying to be entertaining. Props for that. There's that right kick again. Dirty boxing attempted there from, from Dora. Slapping right kick to the body from Denman. It's not often I'm speechless no, I was during say, a fight. I'm, I'm earning my <laughs> money here, right? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Left hand. Really utilizing that ring. Been around it about, what, 50 <laughs> times already? <laughs> End of round two. I guess that's it, a two round fight. 
Over to our MC. Seen enough. <laughs> ทำได้ทำได้ทำได้ครับคู่ต่อไปนะครับพบกันในพิกัดน้ําหนักครับผู้มาด้วยความมุ่งมั่นพร้อมจากความหนักมวยไทยไฟของเรานะจะเป็น
fifth fight of the evening here in Thai fight, Gao Samui. There you're seeing Ermek Kumachev, 32-year-old fighter from Kyrgyzstan, 177 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 69 kgs. His professional record, 42 fights, 29 wins, 11 losses, and two draws. He'll be taking on the namesake. Yeah, Pai Aksamui, Luk Jiao Parong Tom. 24 years old from Krabi in Thailand, 174 centimeters tall, 101 fights, 78 victories, 19 losses with four draws. Muay Thai, sorry, Thai fight champion in 2018. And been on a tear of late, has Pai Aksamui we performing keep very it. well. Well, it's true. But he's just looked so good lately. I mean, there was a time just a few years ago when when Payak Samui seemed to occupy a precarious position in the Thai fight stable, and now he seems like a stalwart of Thai fight, part of the foundation. It's hard to even imagine a Thai fight car without Payak Samui at this point. You still trying to read his hairdo, aren't you? I am, you? dude. <laughs> well, whatever really he's am. done, it's one because he's got your attention. Back to the card check. The roped hands. Yeah, it's all car check haven't from here on out until Senchai. Yeah, we haven't seen a stoppage yet, which is unbelievable for Thai fight. It's very rare to go this far into a card without seeing any knockouts. But we do have some knockout artists coming up shortly. Canada? I think he says Samui. Seesaw. Samui. Says Samui. That makes <laughs> more sense. <laughs> Maybe he buzzed it in while he was looking in the mirror. Oh, oh, nice. Low kick sweep there from Kumachev. Only three centimeters taller, it says, but it looks a little bigger in my opinion. It's the beard. Ah, OK. <laughs> beard adds two inches. Nice right hand there. Oh, oh! but a nicer right hand from Payek Sawu just absolutely floors his opponent. Hey! Kumacheyev trying to brush it off. That was violent, Adam. You had right to mention. In front of us. You had to mention knockouts, Aaron. Oh! oh! Medic! Medic! You said it! Then it happened! Aaron is from the future. Unbelievable knockout. It all started with the first right hand from Payak Samui that sent Kumachev down to the canvas as soon as he recovered. What did he get for his troubles? Another right hand to the beard that knocked him flat on the mat. I don't know what he's been doing differently over these last few months, but whatever he's doing, he needs to keep doing it because he's turned from a fighter who's, I wouldn't say mediocre, I think that's a little rude. Let's go back to this anyway. Oh my word, look at that. He throws his, he throws his whole body behind that right hand. I think it's the keto diet. Maybe CrossFit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you can't say enough about the transformation of Payak Samui. Again, he rolls on here at Thai Fight Gao Samui. <laughs> there's that knockout we were looking for. Quick work. The winner is Payak Samui from Thailand. <laughs> 79 victories from 102 fights for that man. Congratulations to Payak Samui. Look, Jao Parong Tom here at Thai Fight Samui. เอาล่ะครับคู่ต่อไปพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนักเจ็ดสิบกิโลกรัมครับนักมวยจากรัสเซียต้องมีดีกรีอยู่แล้วนะครับน้ำหนักแชมเ
ความเก่าต้องมีพอตัวอยู่นะมีความเก่ามาเจอนักชกไทยคนนี้มีความห้าวเกินพิกัดครับนี่คือหนึ่งใน4อาวตารนะฮะมาลุยกันครับปรบมือดังๆต้นรับขุนศอกทะลวงฟันกิติสอจอแดนรยองไปไปไปไปไม่สนว่าหน้าไหนไม่สนว่าชาติไหนสีอวตารไทยไฟเราพูดเรื่องนี้ออกแอร์เกี่ยวกับการเป็นนักแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดของวันนี้ที่นี่คุณเห็นที่ด้านข้างในหน้านี้นี่คือนักแข่งขันของนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนักแข่งขันชาวนัก Russian Cup 2017. He looks supremely confident tonight. He'll be taking on an other avatar in Kitty Sojo Danrayong. 19 years old, 182 centimeters tall, 82 fights, 71 victories, 11 losses, and zero draws. Relative newcomer to the Thai fight stable. Things have three or four fights now. All victories, of course. Most of them knockouts. He's probably like second most famous for his fast knockouts behind PTT. Yeah, and the fans have taken to him, of course, on social media. They voted him in as one of the four avatars. This yeah. is the second of four scheduled fights involving an avatar. The first one, of course, a very controversial fight and an incredible fight as well. And it didn't really go that well for the avatar, even though he did escape with the victory, sure. China John. But we're talking about how there's seems to be this sort of curse of the avatar well, maybe that extra pressure potentially or is it just that the fact that your opponents are smelling that cash Money yeah talks, i mean a hundred Adam. hundred Money thousand talks. bot bonus for knocking out an avatar if, if you're not already motivated to to fight that might give you the extra nudge but you talked about jarasimovich to me earlier aaron and well, just about yeah. the fact that you were really impressed with with the fights of his that you've seen. I see, I've, I did watch him, actually I commentated on a fight of his in, in uh, Phuket. A ferocious fight. Both fighters in that fight were bloody and beaten. But yeah, I think it was ended in a draw that fight, but I've got to say, from what I saw, there's a lot of potential. 
in Jarosimovic, and I really don't think Kitty's going to have it all his own way here. And to be fair, he has had it mostly his way since he's come into Taipei. His last fight was the first time we really saw him on the flip up against yeah. it a little bit. I say on the flip side of the argument, of course, is the wrong hands, the card check. It's the ultimate equalizer. Yeah, <laughs> levels the playing field. Completely different ball game when you've got your hands wrapped in rope. Your defense becomes different. Very nice Y crew being demonstrated here from Kitty. As we uh, circle the ring here, where all the yellow shirts that used to be black and white because it's the TIE Fighter celebrating 10 years of, uh, of being a company. Yeah, we're all yellow, but there's not a coward in the house. Well, I mean, besides maybe me. <laughs> But always very great excited. Scenes. Always great scenes here in Thai Fight Samui. Always a pleasure to come and fly down. I don't know what experience. it is about Samui, Aaron, besides, I mean, obviously the, the lake and the, and the beautiful beaches. And, but it's a magical atmosphere. Every time we come down here, it just feels it's fun, something right? special, <laughs> like something special is going to happen. And, and it's not just us. I mean, the fighters also carry that sort of special feeling. And maybe that's why this we've come here five years in a row. This is the fifth consecutive year TIE Fight has come down here to Samui. And our four. Samui. Our four. And our four. Happy yeah. anniversary, buddy. Happy <laughs> anniversary. I'm going to cry. Okay. Kitty, Saw Jaw, Dan Ryong in the black corner. And in the white, his opponent from Russia, Nikita Gerasimovic. I have a feeling there's going to be fireworks as soon as that bell sounds. Kitty is a notorious fast starter, likes to look for those early finishes. And you mentioned Nikita is a tough customer. He is. Usually if somebody comes at you guns blazing, your response is to blaze right back. Fire, fire with fire. Round one. Right, kicks to the body attempt there from Kitty. And there's the strength of Nikita on display. Nikita looking very composed, looking very relaxed. No question there's a reach advantage for Kitty though. You can just tell he's longer in the limbs. Let's see how Nikita deals with that. For a jumping elbow. Overwhelmed by the pressure there, Kitty goes down. Right hand over the top there from Kitty. That took attempt from Jarosimovic. Right low kick. Kitty chasing on the prowl. Ref's got to be careful. Elbow there from Kitty. Not sure what Jarosimovic was trying that time. He actually looks hurt a bit. Oh, good left hook there from Jarosimovic. Good left hook though from Kitty and a right elbow. Yeah, Kitty's got him cut already. Scrappy affair here. Blood underneath the right eye of Jarosimovic. Another nice left hand from Kitty. Right on that spot again. Down goes Nikita. Yeah, Kitty's got to be careful there when uh, Jarosimovic. Nikita looks hurt. He is. He's a cut under the eye, like you said. Nikita holding on. Kitty headhunting. He's just got to try to survive this opening salvo. No, Kitty, we mentioned, is a notorious fast starter. Looking really tired. Likes, yeah, he really Deep likes breaths. to overwhelm people early in the fight. He seems to be doing that right now to Nikita. Kitty again throwing another right elbow in and connecting. Left knee there from Kitty. Back and back and back goes Nikita. Well, it's on the face of Jarosimovic. Kitty moving in. Again, Jarosimovic is able to hold on. Kitty looking for that signature downward right elbow. Loves that technique. Down goes Nikita again. He just looks exhausted already, he Aaron. He really very, does. Very tired. 
trying to stay alive in this opening round is Derasimovic. There's that left elbow and a right hand from Kitty. Now Kitty's the one that's smiling and moving forward and looking confident. Now you can see that range again causing a problem for Nikita. A lot of those kicks he's throwing are just coming up short. He does survive the first round, gets a little blood on the ref's shirt. in that first round. It really was all Kitty. There he's looking for that right elbow. Didn't come off. That left elbow did. Yeah, and I think at that point Nikita was already cut. And there's a left hand as well. The biggest story of that first round for me, Aaron, was the range. Nikita was coming up short with his kicks. And the other secondary story is the, the gas tank or the conditioning or want to call it an adrenaline dump or whatever we witnessed from Nikita just seemed to get exhausted about halfway through that first round. Did. Maybe he's calmed down in the break and he'll be able to rebound here in the second. We'll see. Katie looking confident, moving forward. Jumping right knee followed by a right hand there from the TIE fighter. Again, pushing the pace, moving backwards and pushing the head back of Gerasimovic also. Oh, he got kicked to the back of the head because he's tried the spin attack and got... Yeah, I mean, it's not, you can't call it a dirty strike when you spin into it. Unfortunate for sure. He's on wobbly legs right now. Kick to the body from Kitty. Left hand to the face from Kitty. Oh, he's trying it again. Not, why? Right kick. Really confusing. Like you're in trouble, you're hurt. Stop spinning. There it is again. Well, he's not going to listen to me. That's for sure. Oh, what's what? what is he's cut to his again. Corner. He got cut again. Maybe he wants the towel to be thrown in. Another right body shot. I've got to say, the corner's actually holding the towel. Yeah. They seem to be wanting one last desperation go out of Nikita, but I'm just not sure he's got it tonight. He's been all kitty all the time. Cuts on the right side and the left side of the face of Nikita. Blood oh, coming down there. Back out. Oh. I don't think he's going to get up. I think he's had enough. Yeah. You know what? Refs, I he's going to throw in the towel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, ref, just call it. I mean, I, I think you got to look in the fighter's eye and realize that he just doesn't. Yeah, it looks like it's a deep cut. He's not into it. You know, he spun a couple of times and got hit in the back of the head, and I really just think it messed him up. I don't think he's all together at the moment. I do wonder if possibly he was slightly injured coming into the fight. Because he didn't, he didn't look confident, did he? And he was gesturing to his corner. Yeah, I mean, there you can't even really see what, what strike it was that put him down. Oh, it was more to the back, wasn't it? Pretty much every time he spun, he got punished. Just not Nikita's night. We've seen him fight a lot better than that, and I'm sure we'll see him fight better than that again. But give props as well to Kitty. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Who looked phenomenal this evening.
ิวสายแข้งสายพลังขาอยู่แล้วสวัสดีครับลุยกันแล้วนะฮะมีความตื่นตัวมากทีเดียวนะครับทั้งร่างกายและจิตใจมันแน่นอนคู่นี้บุคคลที่ผมจะประกาศชื่อต่อไปนี้นะครับเป็นยอดมวยรอบอิสุสุครับปรบมือดังๆและทุกคนรอคอยก็อยู่สลาบร้ายแห่งเมืองชนปอตอทอวรุจิรวงเห็นไหมยาเอร์โดซานโตสจูเนียร์และถ้าคุณคิดว่านี่เป็นลูกหลานของเขาเขาเรียกเขาว่ายาเอร์โรเบิร์โตนาซิเมนต์โดซานโตสจูเนียร์ปราสิลมีหลายนักเตะรุ่นใหม่และหลายนักเตะรุ่นใหม่ที่มีชื่อเสียงในโลกนี้ทั้งหมดนี้เป็นการแข่งขันที่ใหญ่ที่สุดของโลกนี้และมีการแข่งขันที่ใหญ่ที่สุดของโลกนี้A lot of names, a lot of tattoos. And there's his opponent, PTT, Vought Fujira Wong, 21 years old from Chomburi, Thailand, 178 centimeters tall, 143 fights, 113 victories, 29 losses, and one draw. The 26th Isuzu Cup champion defeated Payak Samui, actually, in that fight. Isuzu Cup Super Fight champion, also 2016. Thai Fight Champion of 2016 and Thai Fight Card Check Champion of 2017. And Quick Knockout Global World Universe Champion. <laughs> Very rarely do you see PTT enter the second round. Yeah, he hates second rounds. I don't know what second rounds ever did to him. Now we've seen him knock out a lot of people, of course. However, a few months back, we saw him get knocked out. He's not infallible. No, he's reckless. He is reckless. It makes him incredibly fun to watch. But he's hittable. He just sticks his chin out there and yep. just swings left and right. Yeah, and we've seen him get caught and we've seen him get finished. But and we've also seen him just destroy all kinds of people. Yeah. So he's the kind of fighter as a fan you just love to watch because he's never going to be in a boring fight. Never, ever, ever in a million years. And the nickname we've called him, of course. PTT TNT because he is explosive. Two rocket launchers for hands. Yeah, and keep an eye on the... Height differential in this fight. Of course, PTT is 178 centimeters tall, and Jair Giant. Dos Santos Jr. 182, so a little bit longer. I mean, he's been fighting bigger people for a while now. It's almost like a Sanchai kind of thing he's got going on. Pretty sure it's Jair. Just putting that out there. Really? Yeah. Spanish, you don't pronounce the J, but what in about Jair Rodriguez? He's Mexican. Mm. 
Shame on me. <laughs> well, I'm going to call him Dos Santos Jr. anyways. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to call him Dos Santos Jr. You're right. <laughs> All right, final blessing there from uh, both Kahnemans, and we'll get this fight underway. Don't blink. PTT versus Jair. Thailand versus Brazil. Don't check your Instagram. You might miss the whole fight. <laughs> Round one. Elbow Great. being thrown there from PTT. Uppercut it. Catches he got it. caught a little bit there. And again, swinging right elbow. Yeah, looks like he's aiming for the tattoos, Aaron. He's got a lot to aim at then. Oh, right hand there from PTT. Good duck, good covering from Jair. Both these guys throwing bombs. Left knee from the Thai fighter. Right kick, you don't usually see PTT kick at all. One yeah. of these men is going to be an electrician because I have a feeling somebody's lights are getting shut off. We'll need an electrician or we'll, we'll be. We'll maybe <laughs> we'll need one. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. You want to be my editor? Swing and a miss from Dos Santos Jr. Again, ducking under though. Be careful though, because PTT can land an uppercut. Relatively tame start by PTT standards. Yeah, I'd go with that. Swinging shots from Jair, do connect. Left elbow from PTT, nicely done. Very technical. Nice knee oh! in the body, and that really hurt him, and down goes Dos Santos Jr., writhing in pain. And it's all over. Easy as that. Perfectly precise knee to the body from PTT. Finishes his opponent. I'm not sure what magical button he found down there, but it shut down the body of Dos Santos Jr. And let's take a look at it again. It looked pretty tame, really, didn't it? Oh. oh, just instantly writhing in pain. Maybe it's a broken rib, Aaron. Oh, right to the eye of that devil thing. <laughs> he hit him in the tattoo. It almost, you know, it almost looks like it. Because originally I thought it hit him on the left side, but if you watch the replay, it almost looks like he hit the right side of his body. And if that's the case, it could be the liver. No, it's too, too, too central. Too central. Oh, 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 oh. So maybe it's just a broken rib. <laughs> or maybe it just hurt really, really bad. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was kind of a slow start from PTT, but it still had the same result of a quick finish, which is what he's known for. Keeps his namesake PTT TNT, this time the TNT in his knees instead of the fists. But anyway, congratulations to him here at Thai Fight Samui. Ah, look up, man on one. Who's in our round? Look up, the winner is. Bottom or Richie Rowe? Hey! 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 สำหรับคู่ต่อไปก็มันไม่แพ้กันแน่นอนนะครับคู่ต่อไปอวตารมาอีกแล้วโอ้หไม่ผิดหวังครับนักมวยคนแรกนะฮะเปิดเลยนะครับพิกัดน้ำหนักพบกันที่80กิโลกร,รัมยอดมวยจากออสเตรเลียนะฮะคนนี้มีความบ้ามีความคลั่งขอเสียงต้อนรับเดอะมาเฮมไซมอนมาเฮด
ร้อยดูก็รู้แล้วครั่งบ้านแน่นอนไซมอนมาเอียดครับสวัสดีครับมาด้วยความเคร่งขรึมนะครับรุ่นนี้ผมต้องขอประกาศรายชื่อของนักชกไทยท่านนี้เลยมาดูดีกรีกันก่อนนะครับเป็นยอดมวยอีสุสุครับซูเปอร์ไฟไม่พอครับนี่คือหนึ่งใน4ี่อวตารไทยไฟด้วยต้องเปิดตัวยิ่งใหญ่เลยนะครับดังนั้นมีค่าหวนหนึ่งแสนบาทแน่นอนสำหรับนักชกชาวต่างชาติท่านนกได้นกอย่างเดียวนี่คือคอนเซปต์ของเขาส่งเสียงเป็นพลังใจดังๆให้กับมังกรปากน้ำโพแตงหนึ่งสิเจสายรุง่งไปไปไปไปไปสนว่าหน้าไหนไม่สนว่าชาติไหนสีอวตารไทยไฟFrom Nakan Sawan in Thailand, 180 centimeters tall, 91 fights, 73 victories, 14 losses with four draws. Former Kings Cup champion, Izuzu Cup Super Fight champion, and a man who packs a mean punch, especially with that left hand, as we all know, Adam. Yeah, Tang Nang, a big fan of Ursula K. Le Guin because he brings that left hand of darkness. And you know, when he first came back, we sort of looked at his physique and his weight and said, we're not really sure if he's an 80 kg fighter, but what has he done since he's come back? Yeah, one fight in Phuket and knocked out not only the opponent, but also the referee. But also the ref. He's had three knockouts in two fights. I mean, <laughs> so he's kind of put that critique to rest for now. That left hand he has is just about as real as you can get all the reality in the world packed into that one fist. Training out of Vertex, of course, now. You do follow me on social media. Obviously, world-renowned famous Jim. Been working on his techniques there. 
get him in shape to prepare him for these TIE Fight events. It kind of feels like the TIE Fight Roy Nelson. I don't mean that in an insulting way, but like... How is it not? Like, cause like Roy, <laughs> like, because like Roy Nelson just used to just crush people with his right hand, right? And like, even though like people would always talk about how he was great at jiu-jitsu and he could do all these other things, he never needed to do them because he would just crush people with his right hand. And, oh, I see. And, okay. and Tang Nang is like that with the left hand. It's I like, I I'm sure he's working on everything in his game, but have we seen it? We haven't needed to see it. It's just the same story. Every time he comes out, he just comes out, he puts that left hand on you, and you die. I thought you were referring to something else when you were talking about right now. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> why I kind of said a, the, the, <laughs> the postscript note of I don't mean it in an insulting way. I, I, I know that Tang Nang is not the most physically fit fighter that we've seen, but I was just talking more about the fact that he has this one superlative gift, this one weapon that is just sort of unstoppable, and everybody knows it's there, and they just can't seem to defend it anyways. And I'm not sure if he's ever going to have to develop a, an elbow technique or a straight knee to the body technique, or if he's going to have to work on his low kick, because if he just comes out and touches you with that left hand of death, uh, that's all she wrote. An so. ultimate fight of the evening. In the black corner, Tang Neng Sit Jai Sarong. And in the white corner, Simon Mayat. Thailand taking on Australia. A few fans in the crown there for Simon, cheering him on. He looks big and strong, but we've seen big and strong go against Tang Nang and not last long before. Round one. Round one. I'm just gonna <laughs> copy you. Attempted low kick there from Simon, then goes to the inside thigh. Trying to circle away from that left hand, of course. Well, that's smart. There it is again, looking for that inside kick and finding it. Yeah, he's working on the legs of Tang Nang. Obviously, he's got a game plan here. Oh, left shot to the body there from Tang Neng. Tang Neng trying to find that range. He's a big guy. Oh, that's oh that left hand! Oh, my goodness. Woo! And you just see Simon just take a big, deep breath. Like, you know, you talk about it. You know it's coming. But once you feel it, it's a different story. It's a whole different world. And you Simon. just get the feeling that that's the beginning of the end. Well, let's have a look. Simon's back up, bouncing around. Good left kick to the body there from Tang Neng. Another left hand. Does it get Oh, my it? goodness. Delayed reaction. No, he goes, slip. oh, he slips. It's a slip. It's, I'm just conditioned to that left hand. You know, you'd go up to Tang Neng and ask for an autograph, and if he signed it with your left, his left hand, he'd probably just tear through the paper. The combination's coming in from Mai. Tang Neng to the body. body. Left hand to the head. Simon's left elbow. Got to get out of there. Oh, and another left hand. The down goes Mayat once again. Onto his knees, back to his feet. Oh, he's back up. But my goodness. I don't think it's for long. Okay, his eyes look a little glazed over, but he's fighting back. One more left hand. Left knee, knee to the body. Oh, spinning back elbow there from Simon Mayat. Just ducks underneath. Devastating kick from Teng Neng. Oh, that's that left hand again. Mayat refuses to go down that time. Put that, oh, another left elbow and down goes Mayat for the third time. Oh, and it's blood all is just over. pouring out of the face. That last strike from Tang Neng just opened up a vicious cut over the left eyebrow of Simon Mayat. Well, that's what you get when you, when you come to fight Tang Neng. I, it's never going to be easy. It's going to be a lot of punishment involved. Let's a lot of pain look. and punishment. That, that final knockdown. Caught him on the neck. Left hand to the neck. Right in the goiter. Left kick to the body. And there's the elbow that sliced ah, him open. There you go. You can see the cut appear instantly, and down goes Simon. And he's going to get a bandage for his efforts here tonight. Another left-sided victory from Tang Neng. Left-sided and one-sided. Is that two sides? <laughs> <laughs> Take it over to our MCs for confirmation. The penultimate fight here at Tai Fight Two. The winner is... Tang Neng Sit Jai Sairo! From Thailand! Oh.
Marcus Jörg Gaffle ligg i mål. ในพิกัดน้ำหนัก66กิโลกรัมนะฮะเป็นยอดมวยจากรัสเซียแล้วเขาบอกว่าคนนี้มาพร้อมกับความโหดเกินพิกัดอาวุธหมัดหนักคมกริบอ่ะเดี๋ยวรู้นะว่าจะเจอกับนักมวยของเราแล้วจะเป็นยังไงบ้างนะครับขอเสียงต้อนรับ The Brutal m a x i m m a n a s o ไฟนี้ต้องจัดบุคคลท่านนี้มานี่คืออวตารชัยไฟคนสุดท้ายในครั้งนี้นะครับเขาเป็นโคตรมวยที่อยู่เหนือการเวลานี่คือฉายาใหม่ของเขาเลยโอ้โหดูเป็นแบบนั้นเลยแค่นี้เป็นตำนานบนผืนผ้าใบนี่มาฉายาใหม่แล้วให้การเวลาแล้วดูลีลาของเขาดูการเพี้ยวไหวบนสังเวียนนี้กรบมือต้อนรับดังๆโคตรมวยแห่งสยามแสชัยพีเคแสชัยมวยไทยเย่แสนใช่มาแล้วโอ้โหลนาพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิ้มพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิ้มพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิ้มแสนชัยพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิ้มโคตรมวยแห่งสยามประเทศไทยฝากไว้เป็นตำนานขอฝากไว้เป็นตำนานให้เขารู้กันนี่คือมวยไทยดังของไปแดนไกลไม่สิน้นใครได้ยินเขาต้องสยบเมื่อได้พบพบกับมวยไทยโอ้ยละว่าคนงามจังว่าละโอ้ยคนงามอายสิตามใจเจ้าไปนำสิได้บอสิได้บอสิไปถามจอจอคือบอละทีว่าจังไดอายมีใจหักมันความฝันอายสำนีแสนใช่นี้แต่ใจปลดระบายแน่เด้อนางเด้อเด้อเด้อแน่เด้อนางเด้อโอ้ยละว่าคนงามจังว่าละโอ้ยคนงามอายสิตามใจเจ้าไปนำสิได้บอสิได้บอสิไปถามจอจอคือบอละทีว่าจังไดอ้ายมีใจหักมันความฝันอ้ายสำนีแสนใช่นี้แต่ใจปลดระบายแน่เด้อนางเด้อเด้อเด้อแน่เด้อนางเด้อเ
I wonder if I ever get married, how much money it would take to get Sanchai to just do his TIE fight entrance at my wedding. <laughs> Why don't you just do it? <laughs> Wouldn't be nearly as good. Hey, you can see his opponent tonight, Maxim Manafov, the Brutal. I feel like there should be another word there. From Russia, 168 centimeters tall, 66 kgs. This fight will be taking place at his fighting record. 29 fights, 22 wins, 5 losses, 2 draws, but he does have 161 fights on his amateur record, so a very experienced fighter, but I'm not sure if you've ever experienced experiencing fighting Senshai. Well put, Arun. Well done. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> okay, here we go. The legend that is Sanchai PK, Sanchai Muay Thai Jim, 38 years old, originally from Mahasarakam province in Thailand, 163 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 359 fights. 308 victories, 49 losses with two draws. Two-time Muay Thai Fighter of the Year. Four weight Lumpini Stadium Champion, Thai Fight Card Check Champion of 2016, 2017. And Muay Thai Thai Fight Champion also of 2018. 47 fights undefeated and uh, 35 of 34. I think it's 34. Fight. 34 in tight fight. Hard to keep track. Yeah, he seems to control time. He's the Doctor Strange of the tie fight stable, the North Star. He's the Dodge Dart. Never dies. Engine never quits. I'm waiting for him to write a book of five rings on Muay Thai because he really is a living legend of the sport. It's a gift. Every time we get to call his fight, Aaron, it feels like a gift. Something I can't wait to tell the grandkids I'll probably never have about. <laughs> hey, I watched Sanchai fight. Who? Put down the iPad and listen. It's incredible. Every time we see him. He just fights a different way than other people, Aaron. He, he moves a different way. He seems like he understands angles that other people don't understand. His left hand has a surprising amount of power in it. It seems to surprise people. He's finished many fighters here in the tie fight ring. And of course, all the flashy techniques that, that make him so famous and so well known, the cartwheel kick, the Sanchai kick, the Sanchai shuffle, the jumping low kick, the switch kick, the question mark kick, yeah, human highlight reel. And we hate to say it, but getting closer to the end of his career, surely, even though he looks great. 38 years old in Muay Thai terms is ancient. Yeah, it's like 128 years old in human years. It's. I don't know if it's ever been done. I don't. I don't know if there's ever been a Muay Thai no. fighter that's been 38 that's still competed at such a high level and. It's been a real pleasure to see. Well, here we go, folks. Thank you for uh, being on this journey in Thai Fight Samui. We're at the uh, the last fight of the night, and of course, the headline act, the crowd favorite, the legend Sanchai, is raring to go as we get the final blessings. Sanchai in the black corner. And his opponent, Maxim, the brutal Manafov, in the white. There's Jatui Sang Marakot removing the uh, the headband. Sacred Monkon from San Chai. And we'll get this fight underway. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> right, Manafos taken to the center of the ring. There's the jumping low kick. He's just going to go down the checklist. Gonna, yeah, he's going to tick that box out him. Tick that one off. Inside leg kick from Sanchai. Got a mean grimace on his face. There's Sanchai, Sanchai shuffle. 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 Tick. tick. Oh. There's the 
Jumping switch kick. Nice shot to the body there from Maxim. Are we still ticking it off even if it yeah, misses? Yeah, three. He's even got, if it misses? Yeah, he showed the technique. That's three. I got three checks on my paper. Manafov standing in that uh, orthodox stance. Back up to the body. Question mark kick! Right hand, oh! There's the question mark kick, four checks. Can we consider the kiss? One uh, of his yeah, signature techniques as well. I mean, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him finish somebody with a kiss, but depends on what kind of mood he's in. Wild overhand lift and a nice knee to the body. And that's actually what we saw him use in his last fight, Aaron, to great effect was that straight knee to the body. Oh, right hand there from Manafort. Sanchai sort of rolled with it. Did connect. Left high kick followed by an attempted jumping, leaping knee there from Sanchai. Sanchai looks focused. Oh, and there's that knee again, and that hurt. Yeah, got all of that one. Sanchai blocked from Manafov. And again. Left hand there. From yeah, counter left hand from Sanchai. Inside oh. kick from Sanchai. Another knee there from Sanchai. Manafov looks like he has good boxing skills. He's going to need it. Oh, snapping left. With a few punches there, did Menafov. That's the right hand. He does look solid with his technique, Aaron. Not a lot of uh, excess movements. And the jumping knee. Not wild with his striking. Nice right hand there from Menafov. And again, doubling up, tripling up. Good first round for Menafov. Not bad. See the highlight, the right hand from Sanchai. Always putting combinations together. There was that left knee that really did tag Manafov. Manafov did show some good quality boxing skills with those hands. Did connect with that right hand a couple of times to Sanchai. Minions. <laughs> see Chanachan in the corner there of Sanchai. Yeah, you can see that swelling under his right eye from that war, absolute war he was involved with earlier tonight. Round two. Oh, another nice right hand from Manafov. He's connected with quite a few right nice. hands so far tonight. There's that question mark kick again. Oh, good right hand again. again. It's definitely been his most successful technique. I mean, we've seen fighters go against Sanchai that weren't able to land a single technique against him. So just to be able to land that right hand it's got to be a confidence booster for Manafov. Referee. Referee doesn't want Manafov to move backwards. Yeah, easier said than done. Right. <laughs> There's that left hand again. Oh, left high kick for the by left hand, then a right hook. Then to the straight left. A flurry of strikes coming in from Sanchai. Also looking for that elbow. Sanchai again, backing Manafov against the ropes. Referee's, Watch out, ref. <laughs> referee's trying to stand behind Manafov to block him from moving backwards. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, 
There's that jumping knee, and then a right elbow from Sanchai. It's not like Manifev's not, not engaging. He is engaging. Sometimes you got to get out of the way. Swift left. Jab to the body there from Sanchai. Sanchai's got to be careful. A couple of times he's looked to clinch up there and gotten caught with some boxing. I don't think he's trying to clinch. What I think he's trying to do is raise his hands up to block those hooks coming in from Manifev. Okay. Right hand over the top from Sanchai. Does it really feel like a cartwheel, type cartwheel of fight, kick you know? kind of fight? Yeah. Good left elbow from sorry, left, yeah, left elbow from Sanchai over the top as Manifest moves forward to grab a hold. Yeah, Sanchai's been focused throughout this fight. Not a lot of playfulness from him, and that's a sign of respect for Manifest sure. and what he's been Absolutely. able to do in this fight. There's that elbow again. Manifest tough. And that's just Sanchai with his expert angles right there. Just able to sort of sidestep enough to be able to throw that elbow on the break. Good left kick to the body. It seems so simple, but they're just angles that other fighters don't seem to have access to. Tempted left kick, tempted right kick from Manafe. Oh, sneaky there from the veteran. Yeah, and just a little bit of a look of frustration on the face of Manafe. Nice right kick to the body from Maxim. Another good round. Beautifully timed high kick there from Sanchai and then a left hand. He just he doesn't stop with those combinations. Getting a good workout here tonight. Oh. Props, jumping knee to the neck. Got to give it to uh, the Russian fighter, Maxim Manafov. Made a steal. We're about to enter the third and final round here of Thai Fight Samui 2019. Sanchai already standing up, already waiting. Yeah, I mean, you were talking about Sanchai just getting older and waiting for time to sort of catch up and slow this incredible fighter down. I think one of the things that we've noticed, Aaron, over the last year or two is just less knockouts for Sanchai. I mean, he's still winning, and he's still winning pretty comfortably. I mean, we have seen him give up a round here and there, but usually he's still winning pretty comfortably, but not as many finishes as we used to see. And that just might be part of... Of the process. Of time, huh? Yeah. Here we go. Third and final round here at Thai Fight, Gosimui. Left hook, right kick there from Russia with love. Manifest looking focused. Looking really to nice Sanchai. combination there. Left high kick from the legend. Manifest showing some really good skills here. Oh, oh. right hand. Got caught and dropped and right back to his feet. And then he goes right back at it, punishing Sanchai again with his crisp boxing technique that he's shown throughout this fight. Struggling to read that left high kick that Sanchai's throwing. But Sanchai's also struggled to stop that right hand True. from Maxim. Not the typical playfulness we see in a Sanchai fight. This really has the feeling of a, of a, a hard-fought, competitive fight. It's a good fight. Sanchai moving forward. Jumping axe kick. Looking for that left knee. Swing and a miss from Manafov. There's that left kick again. Attempts a question mark kick, he misses it. Manafov attempts to move in, but... Eats a left knee in the clinch for his trouble. Another solid left kick, then a left hand. He's really looking for that left hand. Stands There's a smile. Yeah, come. End of the third round, Adam. First time we see Stansai smile. 
No, he's gotten hit in this fight for sure. Left kick to the body. Push there, and then a left hand from Sanchai. Deep breath from Manafort. Yeah, but he gets right back in there. Just a bit of an accidental low blow there, nothing premeditated. Sanchai looking for that left elbow, that killer elbow. Yeah, he just swung and missed, barely. Left hand, and left another. hand, left hand. There's that elbow, but again, Manafort refuses to go down. It's about as close as we've seen to Manafort looking hurt in this fight. The lead D there from Sanchai. Backing up Manafort. Could take down a little frustration and a little fatigue, certainly. For Manafort. He's looking tired, he's looking tired at it. Oh, Sanchai nearly goes out of the ring that time. Really putting the pressure on. But still in this fight, I mean, he's still looking for instruction. And you can see the of the third and final round. You can see the frustration on Manafov's face. I mean, he knows he's lost the fight. He knows that maybe he's not even won a round. But to be honest, Aaron, I think he should be really pleased with himself. I think he did really well in that fight to make it a competitive fight and an exciting fight, and presented a couple of problems for Sanchai with that right hand. And yeah, he quit himself well. I think in the third round, Sanchai basically just took over. But overall, good job for him. He can use that as motivation into, me, into his next fights, of course. He's fought the best of the best, and he went the distance. Let's take a look at the highlights from that third and final round. There's that right hand that almost fought Manafort. From boxing, that would have been a judge to have been a knockdown, of course. Different in Muay Thai. Oh, just over the top there. But overall, a great fight. Sanchai really got to work out with him. There's the left hand. She likes it. We enjoyed it. Always fun in Samui. Let's get confirmation of the result. Well, there you have it, folks. Sanchai is your winner once again here at Thai Fight in Thai Fight Samui. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's fight. It's been action-packed, and we hope to see you next time. I've been Arasuri Sompan. I'm Adam Martin. Thank you. We'll see you again at Thai Fight. ชัยชนะแบบเคโอเอ่อพอดีคุณต่อสู้เค้าจับทางแล้วก็เค้านีหนีมากไปหน่อยครับนะฮะโอ้วันนี้กะลุยเพื่อเอาเคโอให้ได